You then decided to partner up with 810 as a franchise, correct? Yes. And that was in the right before COVID happened, actually, it was March of 2020. My wife and I took a discovery day is what they call it. Uh, so we flew into the Myrtle Beach area. They have three locations there. And all three locations were very distinct and different. The first location it was a, a bowling alley to begin with, and they refurbished it and made the uh, dining area larger with a little bit more ambiance to it. They took out some bowling lanes to add a larger area for arcade. I think they even added an indoor bocce ball mm -hmm. court there. So they were looking to make it more of an entertainment center and dining with a little bit more dining fare, but for the locals. And yeah. their second location is what they call their market common. And that was an old grocery store, so much larger footprint, about 35,000 square feet. So they added a glow-in-the-dark miniature golf course inside, yeah, as cool. well as a full stage for live music. So mm. they have concerts there pretty much every Friday and Saturday evening, wow. uh, as well as all the other bowling, billiards, and other, other games that people can play. And right. that was, I think, based on its location, more situated for the tourists for when they're off the golf course or off the beach, they have a yeah. place to go on a rainy day and so forth and get some indoor activity. And then the third location is in what they call Conway on the outskirts of town, but very close to Coastal Carolina University. So yeah. they were yeah. attracting the college student who wants to blow off some steam after studying all day and they can go bowling from 9 p.m. to midnight for $15, including shoes. So it's a great okay. deal, and yes. they can also use their student meal card uh, to purchase mm -hmm. meals, basically anything yeah. but, but an alcoholic beverage oh, wow. uh, while they're there. So it's uh, cool attracting that, and also I think there's more families in that section of town, so they're doing more birthday parties, which basically introduces to the young couples who may have younger age kids a place that they may not have heard of or known about where they can go there just to eat and hang out and have a date night and just have a nice place that they can relax and take a breather or bring the kids for an early supper. And now, is there one of those that you are particularly trying to emulate in Fort Smith? Uh, I would say we're probably closest to the Conway. We have the uh, University of Arkansas, Fort Smith, which is a smaller undergraduate school uh, with about mm -hmm. 5,000 students, and it's about a mile down the street from us. And okay. then we also have a pretty good segment of our population of being younger people in their late 20s, mid-30 mm -hmm. age group. Yeah. Uh, looking for something to do on the weekends, as I mentioned, besides just going out to dinner. So this is a way that they can go out and have a full bar, a lot of different meal choices, drink specials, and they can bowl if they want. So it's a, they have that love seat or sofa that seats about eight persons with a coffee table so they can right. do shareable appetizers or they can have a whole sit down meal and then they could play a board game or shoot some pool or spend time in the arcade or whatever mm -hmm. they want to do that day to have some fun. Yeah. Hey, did you like this video? Great, we make five of them a week. Subscribe to get more and to keep learning about what's working in the bowling industry. I'll talk to you then.